Okay, let's talk about loading an impulse response into your Helix. So first of all, uh, you bring up the Helix software and you can see I've got presets. Um, I've already got a preset made that I can actually add an impulse to. So <clears throat> instead of importing a um, patch, which you would do here under presets, click the impulse here, pick an empty spot. First of all, you got to know where you've saved your WAV files, which those are, they should be the impulses. I'll give you an example. Um, this one's a Marshall Plexi. This came with one patch. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do, do another Marshall. So it imported into spot five, and I've got the duplicate here, so you can uh, you can actually clear those or keep them. Anyway, that's how easy it is to do the uh, impulse. Now we'll go to the helix. Okay, this is the next part. You're on your helix, and you actually want to um, do the toggle. Move it over. I've already got an amp here. A who watt 100 and press down on the toggle go down to see impulses impulse response mono and you can choose the 1024 and over here the select button you can actually select different ones like the Triumph Waves, Marshall. So we'll do the Marshall on uh, five that we actually imported. Press down, it should be there. And now you have an impulse. So you have a cab, impulse, and you can play with some of the settings. And that's about how easy it is. Okay, um, added just a simple delay and um, reverb. Actually, I didn't do a delay, sorry. Just did a reverb. And again, I'm using the Marshall. That's actually, you can get that free from Red Wires. But anyway, got the uh, amp Who Watt 100. And Dynamics is Deluxe Comp. And just a couple, couple minutes, you've got a nice sound. Mm -hmm. 